Oh man, nice to meet you too, bro. Yeah. Everything cool? Yeah, all good, man. What was your proper inspiration? Why football? What was that specific thing that you think, I want to be a footballer? From the, the start, let's say my dad used to play football, run around, seeing with him and my brother's relationship around it, right. that kind of captured me. And yourself? Music, go. The, the music thing was, I don't know they say that you're a product of your environment, to a certain degree, but actually what got me, I think, was my friends at school when they said to me, Craig, sing that voice to Menchu. Okay, okay. Yeah. They'd always come to me like, I'll hear yeah, that. Yeah, or they're like, give Ryan the ball. He'll, he'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it'd be one of those ones where it's leading you already. It's funny, because going from those moments at school, would you say that there was a point where you realised that actually, no, this is not people telling me, I now know? The moment that happened was possibly when I moved to Kent, there was football in abundance and then that's when I got into competition. Right. After playing in the leagues and stuff, you started to score like about 30, 40, 50 goals a season. It's up front, believe it or not, I swear. <laughs> Don't judge me for the finishing of that. <laughs> but then obviously that then went into top tier. Fast. It was fast. From signing, got being happy to sign at Gillingham yeah. to Chelsea to five years later, I'm winning the Champions League. Unbelievable. <laughs> How did that work for you as well? I'd say when I was making the first album, there was that. For Born to Do It. Born to Do It. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. It was crazy, it was crazy, 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 crazy. One, I embodied everything that I was doing as a kid. I mean, we're talking everything from spending hours in the library using all their paper and ink cartridges to make mixtapes when people thought, we're crazy in the library all the time. I'm like, if only you knew that I'm up here, like, making, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my, yeah, I'm working it, you know what I mean? My friends would call up and they'd say, Look, we're going out raving, la 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 la. And I'd say, no, nah, I got to finish the song. And then what I did, I just ended up starting to do more of the thing I loved. I started saying no more and doing the thing I loved. Little did I know, seven million albums later with the team. I want to ask you about how your back and the, the whole TS5 moving that's crazy. What was your brainstorming behind, like launching? That was what I was doing when I was selling the mixtape. Yeah, yeah, okay. When I brought it back in, people loved that we're this close. Mm. It's intimate. I want it to feel intimate like a house party. Kind of what my calling is now. It's like it's that's bigger amazing. than what chart you position you go in, how many streams you get on records. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Gotta give that. One more last thing. Go ahead. Would you say that now are your best years? Yeah, yeah. I'm honest with myself. You're older, you're honest. Mm -hmm. And it's that learning. I think players, tactics, timings and movements and stuff, so dynamic. Yeah. But when it happens now, it's so easy for me to clarify it. I can go out there now, perform, do your thing. everything, yeah. You, my man, nah. and you. It's a pleasure, a privilege, yeah. even though I said I'm it's close to my heart, but when I see you play, you play with pride for that team, you know what I mean? And I think that, that stands testament, so top boy. Mm -hmm.